Hey guys, it's Timmy335 here with you again, and I have another Road to the Show. It's episode 3 this time, so let's get it going. So I've got, uh, this is, I don't see, I didn't see what the average was I was batting there. It was, I think it was around 295, maybe? I can't remember. But as you see, I guessed the location here and smacked the shit out of the curveball. So, off to a good start here. I thought, I thought about going to second, but I decided after I saw that he caught up to the ball and caught it off the ground, that it would probably be a good decision with my slow speed to just stay at first and take my bag. So, yep, good start to the game. I thought that, I don't know if you saw it on that camera angle there, but I thought that he was not going to catch up to that. That's why I was thinking I could possibly have a double and an RBI. But it didn't work out like that. I just got my single. And you saw my stats there. I was batting 306 with zero homers and seven RBIs. And here you see... Ryan Spielborg's getting in there after the uh, ball tipped off of the catcher's glove. So it's good. At least a run scored while I was at bat. Not anything that I really technically did, but I'll take it. And this guy is, I don't know if he's purposely fully thrown like this, but he is all over the place right now. So I'm going to try and see if I can't do anything with him since he's so wild. Let's see, I guess fastball here. I thought I was going to be caught here, but he was slow on the throw, and I'm safe for a base hit. So I got a little lucky there. My guy has like 37 speed, so it's not like he was going to be super duper fast and run it out or Jose Reyes style or anything, but it ended up working out for me, so I guess I can't complain. And see another first pitch guess here, and I hit a little, get, little blooper into the uh, left field. So... Three for three, not so bad. Three for three is actually very good. Even though I'd rather have a couple of doubles, maybe a triple. I can't hit home runs on this guy. I've, like I said, I was gonna I'm starting to work on uh, contact. My contact's only like 50 per side, so I'm not really expecting anything even good for contact. So, gonna improve that a little bit, maybe to the high 70s, low 80s, and then I'm gonna try and get to some power so I can hit a few homers here and there make it a little more interesting because I don't want to just sit here and be that guy that just hits singles all the time you see here I got lucky I saw that the ball was going to be borderline probably a ball but I didn't want to I just kind of wanted to take a chance at it because I felt like I had a chance to get a base hit off of it and I did so that's not so bad right now and this is the base running I was talking about I um I just figured I was going to, even though it was kind of dumb of me, I was trying to get to second base because Cord Phelps hadn't done anything all game. Uh, I didn't put it in here, I don't think, but the two previous at-bats that I got on base after and Cord Phelps struck out both times that he was up to bat. So I decided that I was going to try and take it into my own hands and get the scoring position so the next guy after... Cord Phelps could knock me in, but as you'll see here in a couple seconds, I thought I had a good break on it. It was a curve, actually it was probably a slider, but I didn't get the break enough because my guy has terrible speed. So that was kind of dumb. I went 4 for 4, which is a good game, but I could have done some things better. I didn't really get any fielding opportunities or anything, so it'll be better next time. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and see you later.